Let's now go straight across to Mukul Rodgi, former Attorney General, who we spoke to a short while ago. Listen in. Okay, let's get another legal eagle now. We're joined by the former Attorney General of the country, one of the country's leading lawyers, Mukul Rodgi, joins me. Appreciate your joining us, Mr. Rodgi. What's your sense? Do you believe that the disqualification of Rahul Gandhi is right in law? It was almost automatic, uh, given that he was convicted for two years? I think I entirely agree with you. The allegation by a person who's supposed to be a responsible head of a responsible party, whose words and whose actions are followed by millions of people. If you make scandalous or vexatious or careless remarks about a person's reputation, whether it be the Prime Minister or whether it be somebody else, well, then you jolly well should know what the law is, that if you harm somebody's reputation and character, which takes more than a lifetime to build, mm -hmm. it can be destroyed in a matter of five seconds mm -hmm. and spread across the internet through the world. Well, then jolly well, this is, I don't think, too great a price to pay. You don't deserve to be a, a, a responsible uh, lawmaker. That's all there is to it. No, but uh, uh, Mr. Rothke, two questions. Question number one, two years. Do you believe that the court was right in giving as, as many as two years uh, for criminal defamation and does it open the floodgates? You're saying, uh, you know, uh, when you're in public life, you have to be careful uh, with your words. The argument which is being made is why single Rahul Gandhi out? Do you believe he's been singled out in some way? Now, let me answer, Rajdi. Firstly, two years is not all that great considering that the court itself can grant you bail. Normally, if it is three years or more, the trial court has no power to give you any exemption. You have to go to a higher court, which is uncertain whether you get or you don't get. Number two, mm -hmm. for, as I said, all factors have to be kept on account. Who makes the allegation? Against whom it is made? What kind of following do they have? What kind of impact do they have? Mm -hmm. I don't think that that's, that's really kind of over the top. Secondly, according to me, it is a wholesome judgment. It should be a beacon to all concerned especially our lawmakers mm -hmm. who are in responsible public life, where people look up to them. I mean, the way houses and parliaments are being conducted mm -hmm. shows that it's the lowest of the low that we have reached where people throw desks and mics at each other. I mean, nobody has a right to have a complete, uh, you know, the law of the jungle. Mm -hmm. Every right comes with responsibility. Every right so, comes with restrict. So everybody, let's not have whether it's about this man or that man or this accused, it should apply to everybody. It should strike fear. The idea is that law must strike fear in the heart of the person concerned. Okay. Whether it's defamation, whether it's robbery, whether it's extortion, whatever it is, there should be fear of the law. Let's come though to the critical question then of disqualification. Do you believe that therefore the Lok Sabha Secretariat acting within 24 hours of a decision being taken by a lower court which has been suspended, the sentence has been suspended for 30 days, should they have given Rahul Gandhi 30 days to perhaps exhaust his right to appeal before yeah, disqualifying him? And let me tell you, uh, Rajdeep, this is a normal misconception which every layman has and I have been saying it since uh, the afternoon today. See, the law provides, and I'm speaking slowly, please understand so that your viewers can understand. The law provides that the moment a conviction is recorded by a judge, that moment, that is the next millisecond onwards, mm -hmm. the disqualification under the Representation of People's Act 1951 is operative. It is operative per se automatically by the stroke of the pen signed by the judge. It does not require any notification by any authority, much less the Secretary General of Parliament. Even that if the sentence is suspended? Even if the sentence has been suspended for yes, 30 days? I, I'm just answering, Rajdeep, that is the next question which I'm going to answer. So it did not require any order or any authentication or any gazette by any authority. Mm -hmm. If it did require, the law would have said so. Mm -hmm. That it will be operative 
when the secretary general issues or when the government gazettes in the India's gazette, etc. It does not require, it is settled law, it is elementary. Now the second question. <clears throat> I want to tell your viewers that every conviction is in two parts. And you know, one is the recording of guilt, which is conviction. Mm -hmm. The second is, what is the quantum of punishment to be given? I'm not talking about this case. There are hundreds of cases where punishments vary on the nature of circumstances, on the offender, the nature of how gruesome an act is, I mean, in cases of bodily harm, etc., etc. So it's always in two parts, conviction and sentence. What has been suspended by the court, which it could do, was only suspension of sentence and not the conviction, which means that Mr. Gandhi cannot be taken to jail that moment or the next moment because the court has given him a respite to go to an appellate court. But the moment conviction happens, as I said, disqualification is automatic, and he has now to obtain a stay from the appellate court, mm -hmm. not only of the, the conviction, which I think is much easier in a case of two years, but he has to obtain a stay of the conviction as if there was no guilt, at least temporarily, and that's the only way he can get into Parliament today. So, can uh, so given the fact that he's now been disqualified, what are his options? Because there will be the fear that he and his uh, political managers may, ha may have that the election commission may well declare an, a by-election for right. why so, not for why not come tomorrow? So, does he go to a Supreme Court and try no, and no, seek no, immediate no. relief, or go to an appellate court, a sessions court? See, Rajna, Rajdi, this is a routine matter. I mean, if if somebody had come to me with this kind of a situation in the afternoon, I mean, and if I was a lawyer practicing in that court, I would have prepared an appeal in the next two hours, mm -hmm. attached a copy of the judgment, and presented it to the appellate court by 4 o'clock, mm -hmm. and requested the court to take it up, knowing that, you know, tomorrow the EC can issue a notification that the seat is vacant in my heart, which usually takes 10, 15 days, 20 days, a month or so. But I would have presented the appeal at least the same day, or if not, at least today morning. I mean, this is a routine matter. It is from one trial court to an appellate court. What's so great shakes about it? You got so many lawyers with you. You can't draft an appeal and present it. And now you say, tomorrow, why not will happen? This will happen, that will happen. Why not will happen in at not less than a month? Because the EC has to look at hundreds of things to see whether the place is ready for an election, right. whether the must is all right, stuff like that. So I don't understand what what is it taking them to to uh, you know file an appeal. So Every you're saying I'm, you're saying his only way out is to file an appeal as soon as possible and get a stay on the conviction and the sentencing. Am I correct? Absolutely right. Absolutely right. If it doesn't happen in the first court, you've got to go to the high court. If you don't happen in the high court, you've got to go to the Supreme Court. You've got so many channels, one should ex ex I mean, exhaust them day after day. I mean, I, we have had cases where disqualification is done by the high court. So not in this kind of case. Some other case, right. uh, say of corrupt practice. A, an MP is disqualified on a finding of corrupt practice by the high court. Appeals are filed in the Supreme Court overnight. It's much more difficult to have an appeal in the Supreme Court the same day or the next day. The attempt, it is filed overnight, mentioned to the Chief Justice, tried to have it listed the same day or the next day or the next day. Right. And to me. So, Here in, appellate, in the first appellate court, you could file an appeal in one hour and request the judge to take it at 4 o'clock. I'm surprised with all their bodies there at uh, their beck and call. They haven't still filed an appeal. Can I, can, can I therefore ask you in conclusion, what's your sense? Does Rahul Gandhi have more than half a chance? Given that in normal cases, criminal defamation doesn't attract two years, do you think he has more than half a chance of at least getting think, a stay? I, I think he has a chance, but then he better do it uh, ASAP. Okay. Otherwise, he will, otherwise, he will feel overtake him. Okay, that's an important point that you've given, a news point there, Mukul Rodgi. If the yeah. lawyers of Rahul Gandhi are listening, they need to go ASAP. To file an appeal is what Mukul Rodgi, former Attorney General of the country, saying. As always, Mukul Rodgi, appreciate your joining me Thank here you. on Thanks, the news Raji. today. Thank you. Thanks, Rajiv. Nice.